Okay guys, have a nice day to all of you. This is our mechanical engine parts of our uh, 4B40 engine. We already clean so that we can uh, easily assemble our engine. Okay, so welcome back to our YouTube channel, Autopix Garage. So please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell icon so that you can notify to the next video tutorial. And also, this is our engine block, the crankshaft, the main bearing cup, together the lower crankshaft bearing and upper crankshaft bearing. Okay, so we will assemble our engine block. Okay guys, so first thing to do, we'll install our upper crankshaft bearing in its uh, crankshaft journal. So we have five pieces bearing and we'll install here the side thrust bearing also. Okay, our previous video episode was about the crankshaft bearing selection upper and the lower crankshaft bearing so please watch our video episode regarding our bearing selection of upper and lower crankshaft bearing okay we will put engine oil to our journal before we install our upper crankshaft bearing this is our two side thrust bearing. We'll install here at that side, both side. Okay. The thrust bearing should be installed such that each group pieces the crankshaft weight. Put a little bit grease so that it will not pull down also the other side okay this is our standard bearing identification mark standard one for our number one main journal bearing number of our upper crankshaft bearing the position, correct position solution is like this okay. standard 2 bearing for our second crankshaft main journal okay the correct isolation of our main bearing is like this okay Standard one, upper crankshaft bearing for number three, main journal. Okay, we will install the bearing, standard two of our main journal number 4 
Okay guys, so we will install our bearing of our number 5 main journal standard number 2 we will put it here in our number 5 journal okay okay guys so let's install our lower crankshaft bearing So this is uh, st standard 3 for our lower crankshaft bearing number 1 journal. It's for little amount of engine oil in our uh, engine bearing cup. Okay, so must be the position is like this. Standard three must be put like this position. Next, standard 3 also for our lower crankshaft bearing for number 2 main journal bearing cup. So standard 3, number symbol is in this side. Okay, next. Standard four for lower crankshaft bearing. For number three, main journal bearing cup. Number symbol inside. Standard three for lower crankshaft bearing. Or number four for our main journal bearing cup. Standard symbol number three must be sold like this position. Okay. Then another standard three for lower crankshaft bearing for our number 5 main journal bearing cup so standard 3 the number symbol of our bearing must be installed by this position okay? Now ready to install in our engine block. Okay. This our oil jet in its cylinder we will tighten to 10 newton meter before we install our crankshaft. Okay. Okay guys, so we will tighten first the oil jet. We will use Allen wrench. 5 millimeter number 5 then we will apply 10 newton meter okay. then we will apply an equal amount of engine oil okay in our crankshaft bearing, our 
Before we install our Russia. Okay. Then we install our crankshaft. Okay. Okay, guys. So. We already put plastic gates in our crankshaft main journal clearance. So standard value is from 0.014 to 0.034. Okay. So still within the standard value. We will tighten the bearing cup bolts from 5 plus or minus 2. Newton meter, then 35 Newton meter plus or minus 2, then plus 120 degrees for the tightening of our main bearing cup bolts. Okay, we will tighten our bolts in proper sequence. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, guys, so after we tighten the bolts of our main bearing cup, We'll try to rotate our crankshaft if smooth rotating. Okay, so that's the way how to measure the clearance and tighten the crankshaft main unit cup bolts. Okay, okay, we put small piece of plastic gates in our crank pin number two and number three piston. We will uh, check the oil clearance. We will tighten the connecting rod cup bolt. Okay. Okay. We will put the cup of our connecting rod. Then also number three. This number three. Here. Then we will tighten. Okay. 14.7 plus or minus 2 then 120 degrees plus or minus 2 degrees okay Works. connecting rod oil clearance is from 0 0.020 mm to 0 0.038 mm the oil clearance limit is 0.1 mm We already installed the timing chain. This is the timing mark of our exhaust camshaft for empty camshaft. This is the one. Then there's a marking here.
outside must be labeled at the uh, cylinder red Sprocket Bower crankshaft This is the stationary This is the moving timing mark And here 